Okay, so in this video we're going to draw one of the standard Gothic arches, uh, a real simple arch design that's still used in today's society. So much like the, the other video with the segmental arch, this one's going to focus on the Gothic arch in the same principle. What we have is we've got a A3 drawing board, this is a scale drawing at 1 to 5. Again, like I said in the segmental arch, this is exactly the same principles if you were to draw this at full scale or scaled down, and, and it's very useful scaled down, especially if you're delivering this in a theory lesson. So, what we have as a, a basic overview is we have uh, two two brick pillars, which are 440 mil long, and we've got an opening that works to two brick and two joints, which is 460, uh, and we've got a central line as well. We've also got our flat line, and this is gauged up at 900 mil, and this is to replicate a mock door or mock window and it's only been done to 460 mil just so we can fit all the content on the paper again the same principle applies if you're going to do this at full scale so what we first need to do is establish where the striking points are on a gothic arch now on a semicircular arch the striking point is the center of the central line and the flat line and then it really comes from the springing point and goes over the radius whereas a gothic arch the striking point is actually like each opposite springing line. So you're going to place your, your compass into the corner and then you're going to place your pencil onto the opposite end and you're going to simply go all the way up to the central line. You're going to reverse that and do exactly the same and just check it's true and then two lines should meet. The next step is to evaluate what we're going to do, what sort of arch we're going to do. Now in this case I'm going to do a soldier arch. You could do a header or two headers, two rings of headers, but we're going to do a soldier arch. So we know that a UK metric brick is 215mm long, so we're going to come across 215mm long on both sides. Same again on the opposite side. And we're going to utilise them marks from the striking points to get our outer, our extra dust. We've done our intra dust, which was the inside line of the arch, and now we're going to get our extra dust. Do the same on the opposite side from the opposite striking point. And there you have a simple Gothic arch. Now, what you can do is if you want to start introducing your voussoirs, remember voussoir is the French term for axed brick, or the wedge-shaped brick, you do need to use your striking points. These are integral to everything in arch and geometry. And what you do is you would gauge up your extra dust. So we're going to put a 10mm, then we're going to do a 65mm brick, because that's a standard metric brick. And then another 10mm. Remember, because you're doing this on a curve, you may have to use your ruler in a different way than, than gauging up a whole side. And then simply use your ruler from the opposite striking point and meet the lines that your, your gauged lines across. So there's the first bed joint. There's the first brick. Another bed joint. And you'll basically carry all that all the way up. The central line still stays true because cuts come into that. So cuts actually come into that section. So what I'm going to do now is fill this entirely up to that point. It'll give you the actual angled cut so you're gothic. So we'll fill that all the way to the top. Remember, if you were going to do this full scale, you'd use probably a sheet of plywood. Uh, we've often done that on site. And obviously it'd be full to scale to one to one, so it'd replicate exact sizing. So you could actually use the drawing as a template for cuts.
Once you've done that, equally as well, remember that you only have to really draw one side out because if the arch is equal, the opposite side should be exact. So you can fill it out and complete the whole drawing, the whole technical drawing, if you wish, but you don't have to. One side will be enough to gather all the information that you need. Remember, we're doing this to find the bourgeois template. Not all arches come on site pre-made. Sometimes you have to construct them from scratch. And if you do have to construct them from scratch, the use of traditional methods such as technical drawing like this is uh, integral. Remember the difference of a bourgeois compared to a rough ringed arch is that the brickwork on a rough ringed arch is the standard brick and we use the joint as a V, whereas in a, an axed arch we actually V the actual brick. So it might not look a great deal of variance on the drawing, but if we actually measure the base of this brick, on one of the sides to see what it roughly is it's actually about 45 or 40 mil so it's quite a chunk to cut out of it so obviously you'd equal that up and, and take off either side and that's generally how you would do that another thing you can do is you could gauge up the side and you could draw in your whole section of brickwork that would enable you to understand what the creepers are now the creepers are, are what go over the top of an arch they creep over the arch so equally, just to recap this drawing, very simplistic one, the Gothic drawing is, what we have is a two brick pillar, either side of a 460 mil opening with our central line. We maintain a flat line. And then we use opposite ends of our springing point to get our, our striking points, which enable us to get us our arcs for the arch. We measure out what the distance is for our, our arch itself, what we want to do, it could be a, a single brick, it could be a one and a half brick, we draw the extra dust and then we start using the striking points and we gauge up the extra dust for the arch and we start filling in the voussoirs. Obviously this central line will be split 5mm either side. If we split it 5mm either side, like such, we would then understand exactly how your cuts are going to be used. So we could actually like so. That will actually give you an idea of what these cuts are actually going to look like. Obviously as well, if you did this at full scale, you could also use the internal section of this piece of timber if you did it on a sheet of ply to create your template for your arch centre. You could. So it's a useful thing to know, especially if you're going to be uh, doing a level 3 qualification, or if you ever come across having to do a arch on site, using the traditional methods of drawing the entire arch out to gain access to the template to understand how it's going to look as an overview. And that is it, a simple gothic arch.